Do you want to take your grilling to the next level? Because if you do, I found a really simple trick I think you're going to like, and it involves four ingredients. For our barbecue sauce, I think you should at least start with a decent barbecue sauce. You guys know who this is. They make a great barbecue sauce, in my opinion. But we're going to take this to the next level. And we're going to start with chipotle peppers. These peppers come in the adobo sauce already. This is perfect. So I'm going to do, what do is just open these up. Maybe, ooh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Because I want to puree this. And it doesn't mean I'm going to use everything out of here. I am going to use your who's your mama sauce or who's your sister sauce, the Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to throw it in there just to kind of lube things up a little bit while they're, while they're, while they're going to town here. Well, maybe I should turn it on. You know, sometimes part of next level grilling is having your blender plugged in. <laughs> so after about a minute and a half of trying to figure out why in the heck this won't power up and why this cable wasn't working, got her dialed in. Let's mix this up. All right, that was exactly seven seconds. I'm gonna give it another seven. You ready? Are you ready? Now? Should I do it now? Now? How about now? That was two seconds. All right, let's check out what's going on in here. Hmm, damn. Well, it's become a kind of a paste, almost. Got damn good flavor, but I think we're okay. I really do. I have a little bit of a bite, but that's what we would expect with Chipotle. And I'm not dumping the whole thing in. I just want a little bit of flavor. Got a pan here because one of the things that we're gonna have to do, is we're gonna have to heat this stuff up, but that's towards the end. Pardon me. And I probably didn't need to pan this big, but usually I do two of these. Perfect. Now add a little bit more of W sauce. Now this stuff kind of brings the tang to it. Uh, you know, it has anchovies in it. I did not know that. This stuff's going to bring a little bit of smoke and some heat to it. And of course our lime. I do have a spare. And then we had, of course, the wasn't plugged in. I do want to give it a good stir. Give it a taste. Hmm. Boy. I think it needs a little more W sauce in it. I'm going to get some smoke out of there. No heat, though. No heat. Just the smoke from the Chipotle. Adobo. Our barbecue sauce already has enough vinegar, so I didn't want to add any more vinegar to it. Mmm, that's a ticket. Let's do one more lime. Let's give it a little zest, a little acidity. Mmm, that's perfect. Although, I want just a wee bit more smoke. So this is the fun part. This is part of taking it to the next level, right? Just dialing it in. I'm not doing a competition for judges. I'm just cooking for you and me. Maybe some neighbors come over. I can sure smell that adobo though. <laughs> like it. And I'm just looking for a little bit more smoky. And that's the ticket. I get tang, I get smoke. It's not the lime. There's something else in there. It could be the sugar. All right. I'm going to let this sit. We're going to let it fuse together for a bit. I like that. 
fuse together. And then we're going to cook it. And I'm going to check the chicken. And uh, we'll be right back when we're ready to start cooking this. See you in a moment. Our chicken's getting close to being done. So I just want to take our barbecue sauce that we, you know, took it to the next level. Or let's call it next level barbecue sauce. I want to put it onto the Cuisinart 360 and just let this stuff kind of simmer, fuse together. That way we can put it on our chicken. It's just going to fuse here. I'm going to turn the heat down. Just let it do its thing. I just checked the chicken with our thermometer. Kemp's coming in at about 175 to 185. 165 is the minimum, but if you want that next level, 175 is where you want to go because you don't want to get sick from this stuff. So I'm not All right, let's check out our barbecue sauce. Mm, got good flavor. Just a wee bit of a bite. Got that smokiness in there. Man, can hardly wait to try this. Take our barbecue sauce and put it over every chicken. Don't be shy with it either. I'm telling you. That skin just wants to fall right off. All right, let's give these a flip. Lather up that other side. Boy, the barbecue sauce just acts like it's so natural just going on there. And the aroma this chicken's giving off, wow. All right, there you go. I'm going to cap this up and let that barbecue sauce kind of harden onto that chicken just a little bit. Our five minutes is up for a total of 10 minutes since we put the barbecue sauce on our chicken. Crazy good. Looking forward to trying this out. That aroma coming off of these. Oh, some skin came off. That's all right. But I mean, that looks great. They're juicy. Coming in at about 175, 185 on temp. The aroma from that barbecue sauce, absolutely crazy good. I use Kingsford charcoal and it is this one, I think it's a hickory, I believe. Ah, mesquite. I'm gonna give these about 10 minutes to rest and then we're gonna try them out because I can hardly wait to try our barbecue sauce that we made. All right, it's about to get ugly. I've got some chicken here that I am dying to try out. You know, we made our barbecue sauce. Let's try it on this chicken. Awesome. That barbecue sauce is next level. Mm. That drumstick. Mm. You know, the beauty thing is I do get some of the hint of that mesquite from our charcoal, right? But that barbecue sauce just shines through. It's got just a wee bit of a bite. Nothing crazy, but it's got some smokiness in it. It's got, you can definitely tell the, the acidity in there. It's just all around good. I want to try a chicken thigh. Mm. Yep. Damn good. All right, there you go. Next level barbecue sauce. And it will take your grilling to the next level. People are going to dig it. All right, we'll talk to you later. Love you. Peace. Hang on. Let's talk to you. Bye.